Now, before I begin, I'd like to place a perspective on the topic at hand. So will those of you with an iPhone 5 or 5S, please raise your hand. What about an iPhone 6 or 6S? What about the iPhone 7? OK. Now, those of you without the latest and greatest are experiencing what can be defined as a technology gap. You're, in essence, lagging from what's available and from what those around you have. Maybe your phone's camera isn't as sharp, or maybe your phone's 25% slower. But for many people, this is not a case of opening their emails slower. No, take that feeling and place it in the perspective of the millions of people, each and every day, affected by a technology gap, not of two or three years, but 20 to 30 years. Around three years ago, I saw my opportunity to fix a technology gap in an industry most people don't even know exist. I began to build software for prisons. Now, this was not an industry with technology 25% slower. No, this was an entire industry functioning as if we're still in the 1990s. I remember the first time I walked into one of these facilities. Of course, you imagine it to be different, but this was unlike anything I could have imagined. The processes and actions they took looked straight out of the Green Mile or the Shawshank Redemption. They were trying to solve the problems of today with technology either non-existent or so antiquated it created more problems than it solved. As I got the tour of the offices and the workstations, the problems were in clear sight with ramifications that cover our news headlines. You'll see another inmate committed suicide or our recidivism rate higher than it's ever been or the wrong inmate was released because he was able to fake his identity. These are not problems to be taken lightly. But what struck me the most came at the end of this meeting. In the turn of any other project I'd done, I asked them, well, what are you looking for? What are you hoping this software solves and provides? But their response was astonishing. We don't know, they said. We don't know. Now, I want you to sit back and really think about this. You see, we have progressed so far that there are people who don't even know what's available, who don't even know the questions to ask, who don't even know what is possible with the technologies of today. And ever since this, I've been working to solve this for every correctional facility. With fast and reliable systems, we took data and moved it from the file cabinet to the cloud. You've had fingerprinting technology in your iPhones for years, but it's time to stop worrying if we're unlocking our phone faster, but if we're unlocking the wrong cell. So we implemented biometric verification for inmates. We implemented innovative alerting and classification techniques to ensure medications and suicide watches were at the alert attention of the staff. We brought in tablets for inmates, free of use to hope one day reduce or even eliminate the thought of recidivism. By closing this technology gap where we have, we have drastically changed the lives of both the staff and the inmates for the better. But the thing is, correctional facilities are just one example of the many technology gaps. These same types of problems are occurring in situations all around our society, with many not being addressed at all. It's time to stop holding this off, and it's time to start working to eliminate these areas where technology has been abandoned. Because we can solve these problems, and everyone can play a part. If you're an entrepreneur, looking for ideas, instead of looking to build another social network or video game or mobile app, build the solutions that bridge technology gaps. Build the next solution that brings opportunity to the unemployed or helps deliver health care efficiently to millions or brings together the public and private sector to solve some of our biggest social issues of today. The possibilities are endless and the best part, there's a huge opportunity for positive impact because due to such a large gap, a single person can take an entire industry and move it from here to here. And for everyone else, there are opportunities everywhere that may not affect a million people, but maybe just one. Maybe just one person who ends up changing the world because of your efforts. And the goal? The goal is to make those unaware of what's possible with technology aware. A friend of mine last year helped a small business in his town implement a website and ordering system. I was surprised he didn't know how to code. All he did was point them in the right direction. And he single-handedly changed the lives and landscape of this business.
And all that had to be done was remove the we don't know from these people by simply pointing the finger towards what is possible with the technologies of today. We all have a task now. So whether you're building the next solutions to bridge technology gaps or making those who need it most aware, strive each and every day to solve these gaps in our world and in those around you. Because if we can accomplish this in the prisons, if we can achieve success in the most restricted and static industry, why can't we do this anywhere? Thank you very much.